Hi folks! In a few of my videos I've made musical instruments and played them for you. But for those who want to make these things too, you need to be able to read music. But you'll be surprised by how little you need to know about reading music to do these things. So here's how, in two easy steps. You've probably seen a bunch of music written like this. But to do what you see me do in my videos, all you need to pay attention to is this. These are called notes. You read the notes from left to right. This set of horizontal lines is called a staff. The first of the two steps to learning it is to learn what to do for each note. Each note has a name, indicated by the vertical position of its circle on the staff. This note down here is called C. This one is called D. The one overlapping the bottom line is E. The one in between the bottom two lines is F. And lastly there's G. Once you've reached G, the names start at A again and repeat. To help remembering things, the notes between the lines make up the word face. Looking on a keyboard, this one here in the middle of the keyboard, just to the right of these two black ones, is C. This is D, then E, F, G, A, B, and then back to another C, where it all repeats. Here I'll play this music from Scarborough Fair. But if this is C, and this is also C, then which one do you use? Well, on a piano the C that's in the middle of the keyboard is called middle C, and is this one down here. But where is C on my straw trombone? Well, notice that I put five marks on the straw. Those represent five notes. I chose five because as I moved the straw in and out, I could really hear only five clearly different sounds. The music I played on the straw trombone was green sleeves, shown here. Notice this F with the number sign beside it. From our crude instrument we can ignore what that number sign means, but if you want to explore further, that note is actually F sharp and not F. It's this one on the piano. So I cheated. G and A through F is actually seven notes and I had only five marks on the straw. But it worked well enough. I played A and G using the first mark, then B and C using the next one, then D, then E, then F. For the 555 timer music players, I didn't have to cheat so much, since I had more notes available to me. Eleven with this machine, and thirteen with this one. With this one I played green sleeves and assigned these notes to the marks on the paper. With this one I played Scarborough Fair, which is this written music. For that I needed from middle C up to this D, a total of nine notes. Since the music player could fit thirteen different notes, that was no problem. With this music player I was able to get a little more accurate than my straw trombone. I was able to select the resistance values for the resistors below here, so that the C actually was a C, and D actually was a D. But I explain how I did all that in my How to Make a 555 Timer Music Player in Maze Solver video. The second step to learning how to read the music is to know how long to play each note for. And that's why the notes come in a variety of different shapes. Here are the ones you'll mostly encounter. The one that's a black circle with a line is called a quarter note. Play that one for one beat. Let's say a beat is this long. This one that's a white circle with a line is called a half note. A half is twice as long as a quarter, so play it for two beats. Playing one after the other, we get this. This one that is just a white circle is called a whole note and is played for four beats. Here they are again. And this one that's a black circle with a line and a flag is called an eighth note. So it's played for half as long as a quarter note, or for half a beat. You might also see two eighth notes in a row, drawn connected together like this with a beam. They're still just eighth notes. And lastly, for our purposes, if there's a dot next to a note, then that note is played for one and a half times as long as normal. On my straw trombone, I simply held the note for as long as I was supposed to when playing it. For the music players, notice that the holes I made in the paper are different lengths. The length for the hole is how long the note is played for. I arbitrarily chose one centimeter for the length of a quarter note, which made a half note two centimeters long. The lengths of the rest scaled from there. And that's all I needed to know to play the straw instruments and the music players. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more educational videos like this. There's the one on how to make musical instruments using straws and the one on how I made the hand cranked music player. And for variety, one on how to get a piezoelectric crystal from a barbecue igniter. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.